board examinations are now less than four months from here. And most of the students who in class 12th will start worrying about them in less than one month from now, when actually their pre-boards and practical examinations will start. It is the time which is very crucial for your JE, NEET, IIT, and NEST and other entrance examinations preparation as well as the board examinations. Most of the students I come across in class 12th are confused in the months of November, December, January, and February. And by the time March comes, board exams are already on the head and you cannot do much. You don't have the runway. And sometimes I see last year, this year, many students qualifying either aptitude test with very good rank, but securing not even 60% in board examinations, which leads to disqualification from the admission in any institute. Of course, most of the institutes via IAT, NES, GE, as well as NEET. So it's very important that you focus on boards as well as those entrance examinations because board does not solely give you admission in any top institute, but without them, having qualified the basic 60% marks, you cannot get admission in any of the institutes. So how are you going to solve this problem uh, is exactly what I'm going to share with you in this video so that you don't have to see them as two different entities and you don't have to study everything twice, right? So you don't have to study a chapter from the perspective of IAT and do it again two months later from the perspective of board examinations. You can just study smartly and uh, short both of these examinations using a common uniform strategy. Of course, a couple of things are different, but for concept building and uh, to some extent, more than 50%, a single strategy can be used. So let's get started. So hello everyone, my name is Somir Prakash Sharma, alumnus of Nizer Bhubaneswar. And uh, let's see that how can you ace boards plus IAT, NEST, JE, NEET, whatever you're preparing for using a single strategy. So it is actually the smart studying that uh, I'm going to emphasize on rather than rote learning and uh, very forcefully trying to memorize things which you don't need to in most of the cases. So let's uh, see that what all we have got here. The common struggle, uh, which is the problem that every single student in class 12 faces is uh, board exams actually demand memory and presentation. So what kind of things you know, right? So let's say uh, you, you have studies physics, chemistry, maths, uh, uh, computer science, biology, you need to present that knowledge in the board examination. Okay, so whatever you know, you, need, you just need to uh, cram it down on the examination notebooks versus versus these entrance examination tests your ability to apply those concepts in time bound, pressure bound, and difficulty level bound questions. Okay, so that's the primary difference. Now, you often think that you need to double down your workload. You need to study once for boards, study again for your entrance examinations, which is not the case. What most of the students do wrong here is uh, they will study first for board examinations. Uh, they probably won't solve questions. So practice, of course, is not there. And whoever is studying for board examination will practice accordingly. And in, in that uh, efforts, they actually miss out on your concepts and applications for entrance examination that, of course, will not give you any good rank in any of these examination and you will not be able to get to your favorite. Of course, if you're uh, planning to do BTEC from IITs, 75% is what you need to score minimum. And of course, most of the students uh, I know, they do very well in JEE and perform very uh, adversely in board examinations, not able to qualify 75. So that's not what you want. The truth is 70% of syllabus is actually common. Syllabus is of course more than 90% is common, but the way the questions are asked, the way you're building that concept, particularly training yourself is common to the extent of 70%. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you how. So the problem is you're working twice as hard for the same foundation. To build the same concepts, you're putting extra and unnecessary unreasonable amount of efforts because the months are less and whatever time is left, is crucial for you. I hope it makes sense. So let's say, how can I say that the foundation is same? So this is the paper of board examination for physics. Okay, it's uh, 2025 or 2024 paper. So let's say the question it asks about 
uh, charges placed in a sphere. So it's an electrostatistics question. So find out the ratio of flux link with sphere to that uh, with the Q. Okay, so this is an application based problem. Now, again, another question for magnetic force per unit length. So write an expression, you just need to put down whatever things you have studied. Okay, so it's uh, uh, an actually explanatory question. So it is testing whether you know that concept or not. So application based question is also here. Explanation based question is also here. Again, draw a diagram representing same thing, explanation based question. Okay, so it's these are comparatively easier. You don't have to think much. Whatever you have studies, you can just bring it all down on the notebooks for these questions. Now, this is type of question for which you need to slightly think, recall your concepts. You must have done lots of practice to be able to solve these kind of questions. And this is what is very similar to the one asked here. Now, this is the paper of IAT. So circuit diagram, source has a voltage. It's an alternating current question. So question from AC and uh, you need to find the value of omega. So this is the omega, which is the frequency. Now this again is an application based questions. First of all, you have to have read the theory. Then the second stage is you have to have done lots of practice. You also might have to solve mock test to be able to reach this stage that you're able to solve this question in less than two to three minutes for plus four marks along with 15 questions in the same subject along with 45 other questions in other three subjects which is chemistry, bio, mathematics. So that needs of course but the first stage and to some extent the second stage is similar to this. Okay so for this as well you need to read theory and practice then only you will be able to solve this kind of question. Okay, because it's not just something that you read the first in the first hour and be able to solve in right away. Okay, some of you might be able to, but uh, it's not just that. So this is about that board ask, can you explain it clearly and test your ability to present knowledge systematically in the given time frame? Whereas IAT and NEST ask, can you apply that? Can you apply whatever learned, whatever you have learned? creatively in that given time frame. So test your ability to solve complex problems. So it's a bit complex. It's, it's comparatively very easy problem, but uh, the first stage of application based problems. Now, the key point we need to learn is same NCRT concepts, different question styles. Okay, so study deeply once rather than studying multiple times superficially that does not do any good. Your six months integrated plan to focus on both the examinations using a common strategy. Now focus on NCRT thoroughly, build your concepts because that will be put to use for IAT NEST preparation as well. Now for boards, you just use NCRT practice relevant question and you stop. For N uh, IAT NEST J NEET, you go further. You practice relevant mocks, PYQs and uh, furthermore questions. So focus on IAT NEST J NEET while building your concepts thoroughly. So this can be done till December. So even if you're in Siesta batches, if you're in Homi, Vikram, uh, Raman Kala, most of your syllabus will be done by December to January. Now January Fab, focus on board examinations and that is when your practical exams will also be conducted. So solve sample papers from uh, January, February for uh, boards. Okay, now perfect. Try to perfect your ability to write answers that demonstrate your knowledge in the board examination. That's what you need to focus on. March is uh, the months of board examinations. Review, recall, revise whatever things you can do. Uh, in April, May is actually your exam month for entrance mode. Okay, so full length mock test is needed. Speed, accuracy, revision, all these things. Crash courses will also be done. So uh, you can take advantage of all these things. Now J NEET will be there. So IAT and NEST will happen in May and June. So this is the final push and uh, that will be your battle with lakhs of other students. So this is how you can do. And uh, some smart study techniques from our side is, of course, start with NCERT. This is a good starting point. So this is a good starting point, but we do not need to stay here for years. You need to level yourself up to uh, relevant materials for G, 
NEET, IIT, NS. If you want to know more about these, uh, let us know in the comment section. But uh, the approach is unified. I hope it makes sense by now. You need to follow the common strategy for building your foundation. Uh, dual practice, solve a couple of board level questions. Uh, the easier questions for IETness will serve as the board exam questions, board exam harder questions. Now, solve. This is this is five for sample, okay, just for somebody who is starting right now. But uh, you can solve, of course, you need to much, much more questions. Now, theory answers for board examinations. You know, the approach that I always talk about to read, revise a particular chapter is start it. Uh, by writing down on your own from scratch. So that will also serve for boards as well as IATness concept building. Now, regular revision is the key. So uh, weekly review whatever you have done, if possible, uh, write by yourself for a three hour paper of board examination, PYQ of boards. So that can be done. If you do all these things, then believe me, you will feel confident and uh, board exams will be cakewalk for you. Now. These are the mistakes you need to avoid. And postponing board preparation is not going to do anything good. That is the mistake I did in my class 12th when I was able to score barely 80%. And uh, don't ignore this till February because it creates chaos and uh, panic. So theory without application, again, not going to use, especially in IAT NEST J. Okay, so if you just prepare for boards, IAT NEST will suffer and again, Unwanted outcomes, duplicate notes, not needed. So different notes is not needed. You just uh, end up wasting your time and energy. Skipping PYQs, no, 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 no. Just study theory, build concepts, and attempt PYQs. It also has objective and subjective questions. Sit, sit for three hours, attempt the paper, do this for at least five to six papers, you will feel confident, you will be good to go for board examinations. And how Sanstra covers boards automatically? Of course, the curriculum in all the batches, Homi, Kalam, Raman, Vikram, is NCRT aligned. So the basics will be sufficient. Integrated materials, so notes, mock tests, uh, they actually align with uh, the board exam syllabus. So that should be good. And separate preparation is not needed. You just have to separately attempt the PYQs. Okay, revise and practice previous equations. That should be done. Now, uh, these are the numbers. So 70%, 70 to 80% of the syllabus overlap. Uh, syllabus is same. I'm talking about the relevant questions between JE, NEET, IAT, as well as board examinations. 80% uh, board ready you are if you are enrolled in any of Sayastra batches, Raman, Kalam, or Vikram. Okay, so Raman is for droppers, Kalam and Vikram for 12 students. You're almost ready six months to master both of these. Uh, if you know what should be your roadmap strategy for the next six months, you can watch this video. Uh, this will help you for IAT, NEST, JE as well as NEET. Now, both tests what you know, IAT, NEST things, test how you think. So this is what you need to keep in mind. And uh, you're already 80 to 90% board ready. Just revise and practice PYQs. That's it. And uh, if you're following Sciastra's program in any way, uh, board preparation is sort of built into your entrance exam preparation, just practice and stay consistent. So that will be the mantra from us to you. Now, if you need your integrated study planner, you can contact Saista support. They will help you with that. They can send you the PDF. Okay. So let us know in the comments or contact Saista support. The contact details are given in the description. Now, if you have found this video useful, please hype this video and share with your friends. Uh, in class 12 preparing for boards and if they may need it. If you like this video, subscribe to Sasta English for more such content and see you in the next video. All the best. Mm -hmm.